Okay, so here we got the Java snippet library. Now, in this uh, example, we're going to be using Facebook and we're going to be using a side-by-side -side view for you. In the right side, we have got the normal way that you would normally code a web page with type text and change attributes for drop-downs uh, and changing the values. Now, at the end, uh, of each time a form is fully filled in, we've got a one minute, one second wait period before it increases and count as that counts that account. We're going to be watching the stat monitor, and you see here I've got this set to zero before it starts looping through to create 100 accounts. Now over here we've got the Java snippet library, and as you can see, it's got the same one second delay the increasement, stat monitor, and it's reset to zero before it starts for 100 loops as well. Now, notably, I want you to basically watch uh, as we start these up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the normal one first, right here, and then I'm going to start the other one. So actually the normal bot, uh, the normal way of coding, is actually going to have a slight edge, but it's not really going to make a difference. So let me get these started. And let me slide these up to a side-by-side -side for you. So the first thing I want you to take note of is take a look at the right-hand side of your screen, right here you'll note that when it fills in these forms it's having to go to each and every input one at a time uh, before it goes on to the next one to fill it in whereas here on the right side as soon as the page loads all of the information is just inserted immediately the other thing is that with drop-down menus on some websites selecting by name ID or classes sometimes do not always work. Sometimes you have to send for inner text. Uh, sometimes you know you, you gotta work around different things. In our Java library it's very exact. It's going to select it, it's going to change it because it actually moves the actual select command for every drop-down. So you're not going to have that issue. It also works with checkboxes, radio boxes, any form elements. It will work with it no problems. Some of the notable websites that we have in our packages, and we have three of them to choose from. We've got two smaller packages, Pack 1 and Pack 2, with both having 25 differently coded websites per package. And then we have our Pro Pack with all 50 sites in it. Some of these sites are very popular. Things like Facebook, Tagged, Hotmail, Yahoo, Yellow Pages, Twitter, WordPress.com, Squidoo, uh, the list goes on and on. There, Stumble Upon, Reddit, Meta Cafe, um, High Five, Posteris, uh, just to name a few more. Go Articles, Article Base, Article DB, um, Backpage, Craigslist, Adland Pro, PR Web, PR.com. Uh, press release websites, SB Wire, and the list just goes on and on. We've got a total of 50 of them in this package currently. So as we see here, uh, we're only about four minutes into this video, and you can already see that this Java setup that we've got going is already on 65 while our normal one's on 44. So let's get ready to stop our normal one here in a few minutes, or I should say seconds, because it won't take long. We're already up to 70 accounts on the Java. And I'm going to stop it right at the point that the Java hits 100. This way we can get an accurate uh, calculation based on 100 accounts. Now you're going to want to keep this in mind because this is only 100 accounts. Now imagine if you're trying to make 1,000 or 10,000. 
When you start talking in larger numbers like that, 35 to 45 percent based on a thousand accounts, that means with the Java library you're going to make 350 to 450 more accounts than you would than had you used the traditional way of coding a form. So let's get ready here. We're up to 90 and 60. That's roughly a one-third more accounts are being created. So let's see here. We're coming up on 95. Let's get ready and stop this normal one. Okay, there we go. So in this speed test, you can see that the normal bot created 67 accounts, where we created 100 accounts. There's no fake in this, folks. The exact same code, the exact same wait time delay at the end. Uh, you know, here in the normal setup, you can see that's the only wait command anywhere in here. Otherwise, it just waits for the page to load and then go on. So there's no way of faking this. This will increase your productivity. It will increase the amount of accounts or forms or submissions or uh, spamming, posting, emailing, uh, whatever it is that you got to do with.